And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. Some double-A baseball coming at you. It's the Hartford Yard Goats and the Erie Seawolves. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. All right, just about set to go. And today's starter, Tyler Holton. And Singy, it's unique these days, but he's more of a pitch-to-contact type of guy. Yeah, Boogie, he doesn't rely too heavily on the strikeout. He knows he needs to miss barrels, get some soft contact, let the defense do work behind him. And I think a guy like that can keep a good that tempo, throw. don't give hitters good time throw. to adjust or think. They can move through a ball game, oh. and you look up, they're in line for a quality start. We'll see what he's got in this one. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. He needed that one. It's been a tough stretch at the plate lately. Good extension on that swing. Took the pitch on the outside part of the plate and drove it up the middle. He let it travel just enough. So two down, and now it's going to be number 30. Hey, put one in the gap right here, huh? Only, huh? He's the kick in the pitch. Runner goes. Slings the first. And that is that. So no runs here on a base hit. No errors and one left. Bottom half of inning number one coming up. No score after a half inning. Here's the shortstop at the play. Pedro Bull picked up a base hit to center his first time up. He's got pop, which is a little sneaky because he's so comfortable with taking his base hits to the opposite field. But he can jump you if you make a mistake. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. Bull measures six feet, two inches, hitting third in the lineup, and he was a third-round pick in 2023. And that one handled. Tosses to first, and that is that. One hit, one left. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. We're tied, nothing, nothing. So up next, Pedro Bull, one Special for two. Time. Pedro Bull. And there's a foul ball. This one in the air right field. Campos drifts towards it. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. So they make short work of them there. To the bottom of the sixth inning. The Seawolves with the lead, one to nothing. Two outs, runner at first. And now the DH, Chris Myers. Picked up an RBI in his last at bat. Still their only run of the game so far. 2-2. On the ground, on the short, Bull. To first, and that will end the inning. So one hit is all they get. We're through six full. The Seawolves on top, one to nothing. Go ahead, run on base. Digging in, Pedro Bull, one for three. Hey, you if you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. Line drive, base hit. Lead runner holds up. They're at first and second with nobody out. 
safety was all over that one. Nice no line drive to the pull side, met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. And a huge opportunity now to grab the lead at this point in the game. And next will be the cleanup hitter, number 30. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate, try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. Trying to move the runners over, and they tag him out. And now, Brett Boswell. Well, first base open, really no reason to pitch to this hitter right here. Put him on, have the force at second first, perhaps getting inning ending double play. Ball in one now. And that one popped to short, squeezes it, and there's two down. Man, it's so frustrating. You got a couple of runners on. You want to try to drive in at least one run. Maybe you get a little too big with the swing. Pops out right there, and I tell you what, nobody's more frustrated with that at bat than him. So two down. Here's the catcher, Braxton Fulford. 3-2. Got him swinging. It's a strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. A lot of adrenaline, we can see it right there, and sometimes you just got to let it out. That's an outstanding job of taking that, executing, and getting out of a tough inning. And your final score here today, 2-1. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chomby saying so long. The final line score for our ball game for the victorious Seaboard. Two runs, seven hits, no errors. They left 11 men on base. For the yard goes, one run on six hits, no errors. They left five men on base. Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. Minor League Baseball from the AA level coming up. It's the Hartford Yard Goats and the Erie Seawolves. First pitch coming your way next. Just about ready to roll here. Our starting pitcher in this one, Jackson Job. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. Pedro Bull stands in here, takes ball one low. Next offering upstairs. And that one is lifted in the air. Can't get their base hit. Well, the last 10 games or so have been anything but fun at the plate for him, so that one has to feel good. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. And here's the first baseman, number 30. Here we go. The 2 1. Run around the goal. Pitch misses. Bull off of first with two away. Three two now. Three two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. 
The 3 2 is corner. off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Very close off the outside corner. Could have easily been called a strike in that location. Hey, Took to a board and two outs, scoreless game. And now, Brett Boswell. My drive, that's a base hit. Here comes the throw. Safe. And it's one nothing. I love the approach he had right there with that pitch. Not trying to do too much, but still looking to drive it. And that's exactly what he's able to do into the opposite field gap for the double. We go to the bottom of the first, and stepping in is the speedy number 29. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite-level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. Out to short. Bull. Not in time, and he reaches safely. Boog, that's staying within his game right there. I mean, this speedster gets the infield single, and now he's on base to possibly do some damage. I love seeing what guys like this can do to disrupt the game once they get in a position to do so. Now it's the second baseman, Wenzel Perez. Looking to rebound today. He was 0 for 4 last night. Comes a 2-2. Ground ball could be two. There's one. On to first. Out. Double play. Just got it there in time. The left fielder. Now here is Pedro Bull. Singled and scored his first time. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. He's got it, and the inning is over. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and two are left. We go to the bottom of inning number two. The Yard Goats out front, three to nothing. Here we go, guys. Now at the plate, now Wenzel that. Perez. He hit into a double Wenzel. play his first time up. Perez. The wind of the pitch. On the ground. Bull. Yet he beats the throw. He's safe. With two outs, you just want to find a way to keep the line moving for the next guy. So an infield single right there does the job. Nicely done just putting it in play and getting down to first to keep this inning alive. You never know what might come next as a result. Man at first with one bat, gone. Now it's the shortstop, short Pedro shot. Bull. Pedro. Singled and scored back in the first. He's one for two. Well, you got to give him credit out there on the mound. This outing started off a little shaky, but he's found a way to settle in and turn this into a pretty good start. Kind of shows you a lot about his mental makeup as a pitcher. They have a rip up there right now, huh? And a pitch. Grounded to third, could be two. Goes to second for one, and that's two. Three up, three down for him there. Home half of the fifth coming up. The Yard Goats on top here, three to nothing. Digging in, it's now the speedy back. outfielder, Jerry number 29. Back. One for two. Jerry. No outs, runners at first and second. Go. On the ground, two ball. To second, there's one. Plenty of time at first. That's a double play. And welcome back. New Pino inning getting Walker. started. And now the shortstop, short Pedro Bull. Pedro. Bull. 
Diaz back to work. That's a laser base hit. Waste no time there. Challenged him with the fastball right in the heart of the zone, and he was clearly ready to jump all over it. Number 30, the next to hit. Kicks and deals. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Man, I really like the ability to bounce back now right there after not Second getting the eight. call. He probably should have gotten. He didn't let it affect his focus, and he came back with another good pitch to get him swinging. No one better needs you right here. And the righty deals. On the ground right side, four. Goes to second, there. safe there. Now battle, the catcher, Braxton. Fulford. And now the catcher comes up to him. Braxton Fulford. Hey, drive him in for us. We need you. Bull, the lead runner at second. Boswell at first. One gone. Got him. Down on strikes. And he knew it. Oh, nice job right there. He struck him out twice. The pitch before looked like it was strike three. Doesn't get the call. Bears down. Throws another quality pitch for the strikeout. Jameson Hanna will hit next. And they're all loaded up. Four pitches. That's an easy walk, man. He could have walked me right there, boo. The last one wasn't even close. Base is full, two gone. Now it's the right fielder, Casey Golden. Base is loaded, two down. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And that is that. So they strand three and leave them loaded. Last half of the eighth coming up. The Yard Goats out front here, four to nothing. So digging in, now Bryant Packer. Got to keep things airtight defensively right here. On your toes, ready to make a play. If you can get this to the ninth with a three-run lead, it should be a W. Bounce to the left side. Slides. He's got it. To first. Nicely done for the out. The first baseman, number 19, Wednesday, Need 14. Runner at first with two away. Here's the shortstop at the play. Pedro Bull. Showed a really nice opposite field approach in his last at bat. Hey, your turn. Drive him in. Clutch up for us. That one the other way. He's got it. And that is out number three. So no runs here on a base hit. No errors and one left. On now to the bottom of inning number nine. The Yard Goats have the lead. Four to one. So two on with two away. And now Wenzel Perez. He's already homered here in this one. And a pitch. On the ground to the left. Bull. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. One out away from this game now being over, but an infield single there. keeps them alive. They're still breathing, and maybe this provides that last-minute spark. Well, this was a tightly played game. Got a little of everything. Some timely hitting, runs on the board, key pitching and defense in certain spots. Definitely a fun one to watch. And your final 4-2 for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chambi saying so long. Fans, our final line score. First for the victorious yard go. Four runs on nine hits. One error. They left ten men on base. For the Seawolves, two runs, nine hits. No errors. They left 15 runners on base.
Time of the ball game, two hours and 56 minutes. Live from Barnes Canyon Ballpark, Double A Baseball on the show, coming your way. It's the Hartford Yard Goats and the Erie Seawolves. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after now, this. Please welcome your Erie Seawolves. Coming up on the first pitch, and our starting pitcher here today, Kervin Castro. What do you look for here? Well, last time out, picked up the win, didn't allow a run, pitched extremely well. He doesn't have to be perfect, but if he can give another performance like last time out, his team will be happy. Pedro Bull in the box here, lets that one go for a ball. Grounder off the pitcher. Safe at first, and an infield single keeps the inning going. Batting four, the designated hitter. So now the DH spot, Jordan Wogu. Bull leads off first with two down to the inning. Swing and a bouncer. In plenty of time to first, and that'll do it. No runs, one hit, no errors, and a man left. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one, no score. One out, runner at second. Now it's the shortstop, Pedro Bull. Reached on an infield single his first time. Swing and a foul straight back. 2013 in the playoffs, you caught one as the Red Sox played the Rays in the division series. I sacrificed a bracelet. It was my wrist and my hand. One out and a runner at second. Next pitch has popped up. Number 72 moving under this one. And there's two away. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. And the batter will be the shortstop, Pedro Bull. Pedro Bull. That one ripped. Packer calls it in to away. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it, but sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. All set for the start of the inning at the play. Pedro Bull. Pedro Bull. And a pitch. Ball one there. One ball. No strike. Hey, your pitch, your pitch, huh? That pitch gets the inside corner. And that's strike one. Hey, here we go, big guy. Wait for yours. Just Whoa. missed. The other way. Oh, he gloves it. Nothing you can do about those as a hitter. Even though you know that, they still drive you absolutely crazy. A 7-5 final score in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us.
The final line score for our ball game for the victorious Seabull, seven runs. Thank mm -hmm. you.